the end of the roaming charges was fixed for uh, June 2017. The Commission has promised it, and the Commission is indeed delivering. Now, how does it work in detail? Natalie will fill you in. You have to know that overwhelming Europeans travel less than 90 days uh, per year uh, in the EU. To note as well that day trips and uh, frontiers workers who go back home every day are not concerned by, by this minimum of 90 days. You buy a SIM card in, a, in another member state uh, with uh, lower uh, prices and you use it permanently in your member states. You are not, roam, I mean, you are not roaming anymore. Or we were somehow surprised to see that one of the success stories of the Commission is being misinterpreted in certain press. Let me be very clear. We have put an end to roaming. You will not have to pay as of June 2017. Without the action of the EU, the Commission, who initiated this proposal, and Council and Parliament, the co-legislators who adopted it, this would not have been achieved. As part of the, uh, as stipulated in the community legislation, the Commission has been asked to advance guidelines to implement uh, the uh, end of roaming. And as you know, roaming means traveling, means moving around the European Union, going on holiday. Those of, the, of us, or the Europeans who travel, do so on an average of 12 days per year. The Commission, with our guidelines yesterday, have gone much further by abolishing roaming charges for all at least for 90, year, for 90 days per year. Why did the Commission put the, the threshold in 90 days minimum? The answer is very simple, because we want to abolish roaming for the millions of people who travel. Students, holiday makers, business travelers, these are the people who need protection, not customers who permanently live abroad and keep a home uh, subscription. And in any event, we said that this 90-day uh, threshold is a minimum, a strict minimum. Operators can always go beyond, offer more. Some of them already did, and we encourage everybody to do more than that. Uh, Vice President Ansip and Commissioner Oettinger uh, are publishing a statement on this, which I'm sure you will find useful to uh, further highlight the parameters of this uh, important decision. As you know, uh, the Commission since 2007 has been fighting very hard for the interests of European citizens when it comes to roaming charges. Uh, by, in the first instance, abolishing, uh, no, uh, reducing, significantly reducing roaming charges by more than 90%, and finally, by completely abolishing them by June 2017. Uh, I think this is a major success um, and is a commitment by which uh, the Commission stands 100%, and contrary to uh, some media reports, uh, roaming charges are going to disappear entirely by June 2017, period. Just to make that very clear. When it comes to the technical modalities of how to uh, put this into practice, you have seen that a few days ago the Commission services have uh, started a consultation on a draft measure related to the end of the roaming charges. Uh, and in the light of the feedback that we have received, and uh, I think you have all followed the feedback that we have received, the President has instructed the services to uh, withdraw that uh, draft proposal and to work on a new one, on a better one. 